Yo, what is going on everybody? Llama here, and we are back with some Call of Duty World War 2 PS4 beta gameplay, playing the new game type War here on uh, the only map that War is actually available on. So, for those of you who don't know, War was in World at War, and this is a kind of a new version of it. Pretty much in that game, you would kind of capture a point in game... I think it was like momentum and you could capture the flag easier. As I recall, there was one point you had to keep capturing and capturing and capturing and just go on and so forth and so. So, like I said, it is back in this game and there is only one map to play War on the beta, but it is a fun, fast paced game so far. So, I played one game and it was very campy, and the rest of the games I played very much enjoyed it. This one here, I'm using, uh, I forget what assault rifle this is. It looks kind of funky, but this thing does damage. It is a monster to use. Probably the best assault rifle so far. I think I played till like level 18. So I unlocked the STG, which is really good at distance, but this one is good close up. Um, not a big fan of the SMGs in this game. I think most people are using the PPSH, but this is the uh, the gun to use so far, what I'm thinking. So anyways, yeah, war. So how it goes is we have to attack these um, choke points here, and the other team has to defend them. You have so long to attack it, and the other team has so long to defend it. And I think there's three different choke points on the map. Um, once you attack them, like I said, you have like three minutes to attack one, and then the next one will spawn. You have three minutes, three minutes keeps going. It is, uh, very fun, and then after you attack, you will go on defense, too, and you'll have to try to win both rounds, or I think if you don't win both of them, it goes off time or something like that, so. I like this game mode a lot, like I said. The only, uh, downside to it I see is I think they're only gonna have, like, three or four maps on this at launch, and most of the maps coming after it are going to be um, DLC maps. I think it's going to be something like Zombies, where we always see like four new multiplayer maps and a zombie map. I think that's what we're going to see now. It's going to be a lot of uh, new multiplayer maps and a new war map, which, um, I don't know. Like I said, this game, it's fun, but it j I don't see it having any longevity at all, especially with like Destiny 2 and a lot of great games coming out this year. I think it's going to die off pretty quick. I'm still going to buy it because I do love Call of Duty, and it is way better than the um, shit fest that was Infinite Warfare, but it does look like it's going to have a low life cycle. When I started playing this game, I really didn't enjoy it. Um, I got into it a little bit more on the second day of the beta, and I'm going to try to play some today and see how well uh, I like it, but the gameplay's fun. I think the guns are very stale. There's not enough guns, and the maps are just horrendous. This is probably one of the better maps in the game, but the other ones are just god-awful maps. It's just 50 different flag points and everything, so... That and the new division thingy is just really weird. I wish we'd have create a class back. But anyways, did anyone watch the fucking fight last night? So I'm still halfway asleep from it, but I wanted to put up a quick little YouTube video. So most people predicted McGregor wouldn't go one or two rounds, and he would not land a single punch. Um, he did really well, I thought. I, I thought it was a great fight. Uh, the undercard was fucking awful for that um, $100 fight, like... I went to a party to watch it, and if I didn't, I mean, everyone <laughs> kicked in. I would feel bad if I spent 100 bucks. I think most people just streamed it off of, uh, like, Twitch and stuff, which is probably the way to do it, but great fight. McGregor came out. I think he looked good. He just tired out, um, but he was landing a lot of good punches, and Mayweather, he won, but I don't know, man. I think it looked made MMA look just great, which is awesome, because uh, you get a guy who's 49-0, and 0, one of the most elite boxers on the planet, and Conor McGregor comes in and stands up with him and hurts him for like 30, 30 minutes straight there. It went, what, 10 rounds. So, like I said, really good fight, but that's like one of the reasons boxing's dying. The undercard was fucking shit. I didn't know any names on that fight, and the fight before it was just god-awful too, but um, <laughs> those guys are going to get paid for it. So, awesome fight. Uh, anyone else who watched it, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And what does McGregor fight next, and does he fight a boxer next? I think he has his own promotion now, so um, I don't know if he's going to fight. Tony Ferguson or Khabib Nurmagomedov or however you pronounce his last name, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if he took a boxing match next. So, like I said, gameplay is pretty straightforward. Um, I don't know. I like the game, but it's just very stale and very blah. It's not going to last too long, I don't think, but um, Destiny 2 comes out in like two weeks, which will be cool. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to head and let this show out. So, yeah, the tanks are actually back. I think it's mostly turret guns, though. In World of War, you could actually have uh, drivable tanks on some of the bigger maps. These ones seem to be turrets so far, and I don't like them. The snow map, it just seems like a lot of people camp the turrets, and I, like I said, I don't know who came up with the map designs, but the snow map and the one that's mostly hills are just god-awful level designs. you think uh, Sledgehammer would have learned something, but apparently not, so I think if uh, if Treyarch did this game, we would actually get a good World War II shooter, but um, Sledgehammer just has no clue what they're doing, and they just mailed, made another failed game. This new game type is fun, but nothing special, nothing to like really get excited about. It's just a uh, new game mode, and uh, 
yeah, can, can you guys tell I'm hungover and half asleep? <laughs> so, I'm going to uh, upload this video and probably get back to sleep, but I will be on later. If anyone wants to play on the PSN, I'll put my uh, PSN name in the info because I very much hate playing with teammates who get like 1 in 30 in domination games. It's not uh, not the funnest stuff. So I get somebody who's good on my team, that'd be helpful. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to let the rest of the gameplay play out. I don't even know if I did that well in this game. I just wanted to put a gameplay up. Like I said, it's not even a game I wanted to get a good gameplay of just because it, it was I played it but it was boring if that makes sense it's like I want to like it because it's Call of Duty and it's World War 2 but it's just very I don't know very stale and the graphics are fucking shit in this game too they look god awful for being on the PS4 so uh that's it guys out so uh thanks for watching more videos to come Our mission is to delay the enemy until reinforcements arrive and protect our flag guns. That battery will keep enemy bombers out of the sky. Defend the command post and the classified intel it holds. Overrun the command post. Two minutes until our reinforcements get here.
One minute left. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds left. We've won. We held off the enemy long enough for reinforcements to get here.